an audio only recording of an exercise session for Vision of Adventure. This recording is supported by Disability Rights UK, a cycle session led by Kath Finn. Please note that you will need some form of stationary bike with controllable resistance for this session. So we are four minutes through the start of our warm up. So you thought I wasn't on it. You thought I was thinking <laughs> that was great. So then no, we're going to go it. for three sets of one minute at medium hard and then one minute at, at hard. And that's part of your warm up. So don't get too carried away. <laughs> and. Where's so I haven't got that bit on. Oh, yeah. Are you ready to turn to medium hard? Off you go. So you should be a little bit more resistant as opposed to just sauntering along chatting. It's maybe about effort level six or seven. Six, I guess, out of ten. So it's a little bit more than the easy pace that, that you'd just be spinning along at. Um, you do want to think about your cadence. So Linda, at pain of not telling you, um, you could do with turning your legs around a little bit faster. So it probably means you need less resistance. Yeah, I've just turned it down a bit. Well, because the slow cadence just means that you're storing knee damage for later. We don't need to do that. <laughs> Um, oh, that's better. That better. Yeah, that's uh, much better. Good, brilliant. Okay, we're coming out of the first minute, so we're going into the second minute now. When you want to be working pretty hard, so that goes <coughs> to seven eight, and the, so that means probably again, Linda, if you just put your resistance up, yeah, put it down a bit. <laughs> You have to get work hard, but keep your cadence at the same rate. So if your cadence has to slow down, so if your legs go round slower, it means that your gearing is too high. Mm -hmm. You've got too much resistance. And it's the same on a, on a road bike when you're riding a tandem. Unless you hit a Lakeland Hill, obviously, or any other hill, mm -hmm. uh, when it all kind of goes to pot a bit. So now... I suppose it ought to give you a bit of a rest, really. Um, <laughs> coming up to the end of that minute. So we're going to have 30 seconds where you can just take the resistance off and just like spin your legs around a bit. Now? Yeah. Yeah, you're 10 seconds in, you've got 20 seconds oh. left. <laughs> and then we're going back. I didn't hear you say, uh, hear you say start, that was all. Sorry. All right. Then we're going back to medium in 10 seconds time. So we're doing a slightly different build this time. Three, two, one. Medium effort, kind of six out of 10. Good cadence, Linda, that's much better. Nice. Everyone else, Esther, I can see your legs, they look great. Don't take that the wrong way. <laughs> yeah, I'm taking it as your first language is English, okay? <laughs> <laughs> My first language is English. I'm interpreting this as, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell your husband that. Oh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> my legs are great. <laughs> 15 seconds left, and then we go to hard. Five seconds, three, two, one. So and we transfer to hard, but even at that, you need to keep your cadence at 90. Oh, that's good, Linda. You could see you working to get on what we say on top of the gear. So you put your resistance up, struggled for 10 seconds or so, and then suddenly you're on it. All right. Brilliant. <laughs> Another 30 seconds. <laughs> 
10 seconds. Three, two, one. 30 seconds, nice, easy resistance, rest, spin your legs out. And then we do that again. I went to I went to a hard class on Monday. I know what you feel like now. <laughs> but it was very weird because nobody spoke. <laughs> it was very hard then. Well, yeah, but we had big rests in the middle. Okay, three, <laughs> two, one, on to medium. So we did do, like, we worked really, really hard. And then it was, it was about 110% FTP drill for three minutes. And, and we did 15 seconds at 120, 130, and 140%. Um, and then we had this massive big rest. And by, mm -hmm. like, halfway through the rest, everyone had recovered. But still, nobody said anything. <laughs> it's like my class on Thursday, they're dead chatty. <laughs> <laughs> Bit like your Tuesday class. Yeah, my Tuesday class is much improved by having mics on. <laughs> <laughs> Can't believe we did two years in silence. That was stupid. Never mind. And you're just about to go hard again. Oh my. Three, two, one. One more minute. So I thought I'd kind of copy bits of that hard session later in this one, but without the rest. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, stop. <laughs> <laughs> That's me telling you that my language for the video, obviously. Uh, but most people don't have power, Jill, readings, <laughs> and don't have those figures. So all I say is work hard. And, and you know that kind of doesn't maybe mean the same as if well, you're yeah. into resistance. Okay, 10 seconds. Oh. Three, two, one. Okay, a little minute just to like spin your legs around, have a drink, move around the bike. You should be feeling warmer. Some people are definitely feeling warmer. Yeah, I'm just going to take my jumper off. Excellent. <laughs> and then we're going to do three sets of three. 30 seconds very hard so that means like sprinting with a really high cadence turning your legs over really quickly and then for, uh, probably a minute rest actually 30 seconds rest is a bit mean on that okay i'll just let linda fight her way out of the jumper there we go. Uh, is it winning yes oh. on now, it's on. linda's won Ooh. Beating it into submission. So we're going for 30 seconds, really hard work. So a high cadence. It's like your Mark Cavendish at the end of a sprint. Uh, mm. And you're putting out as much power as you can. And then you've got a minute to recover. Do so we have to do the crashing off the bike as well, Kath? No, you don't need to do that bit. That's not because that's what he does most of the time is to crash his bike. So that is true. And if you could just avoid the broken collarbone and ribs and stuff like that, that, that would be, be good. Better. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't, we don't want to go there. Okay. Now we've got that clear. You all need to stay on your bikes, please. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. 30 seconds of really hard work. Well done. Brilliant, Linda. Nice. Wow, look at those legs, Esther. Uh, I'm not saying they're good, I'm saying they're going round really, really quickly. <laughs> Lovely, you're halfway through. Nice one, Jill. Well done, Liz. Look at that hair going. It's going, it's going, it's going. <laughs> Five seconds. Three, two, one. Relax. Well done. Now you have a minute. And Jill's probably, hopefully, the only one that can see. 
but I am sitting here wrapped in a fleece blanket. I've just rushed <laughs> back from what we call killer pilates. But oh. it's a savage. And this poor guy turned up who, for his first time with like, yeah. really, really, really sore back. Can't lie on a hard surface. <laughs> and, and this is just like really yeah. difficult for lies. It's not, you know, lie on your back or lie on your side and gently stretch this or gently move that. <laughs> it's like full on legs in the air, lower your legs and your hands at the same time, control the whole thing with your core, do it again, do them all turn it. And he, he was really, I felt really sorry for him. <laughs> so I don't know what he's going to do. All right. Are you ready to go again? Mm -hmm. Got a lovely minute. Three, two, one. 30 seconds. Off you go. Hard and fast. That's brilliant. Love it. You've got about 10 left. Excellent. Three, two, one. one. Chill. Oh. Right, a minute of rest, and then we've got one more of those. <laughs> Halfway through your minutes rest, so I hope you're making the most of it. Mm -hmm. Okay, 15 seconds. Oh. Three, two, one, off you go. Now it's gone quick, five left. Three, two, one. one. Relax. <laughs> Excellent. Now, now you go. organized. Uh, go on, Linda. Oh, sorry. Have you organized the swimming event ever? What I want to know is where can I get like a job lot of swimming hats? Just no sin. Well, I'm always losing my swimming hat. Um. You could probably collect a job lot from around here because if you race a lot, you get given up <laughs> every time you race. Yeah, that's that's the one I want, but I'm on my last one now. Have you got lots of hair? Um, oh, God. Like, do you fit a normal swim hat? Yeah, well, I didn't know there was anything but normal. You can get swim hats for big hair, <laughs> which are a little bit bigger, or for big heads. <laughs> More for very big hair. We usually because somebody's got lots of hair, but you know, I don't no, want to. I just like those. I, I like those thin ones that you get from a race. The other ones are quite tight. Okay. Um, I could probably collect some <laughs> job lots. Right. We're going to do. Oh, good. Okay. Right. Some over geared efforts. So that's the one where we want a really slow cadence of 60. And it's our hill climbing practice and it's building strength in our legs. So we want, I'll give you the cadence in a minute and we're going to do three lots of three minutes. So three lots of three minutes, God. Yep. So it's probably slightly longer than we've done before, but that's good. That's what should be happening. And so we do a slow cadence, but with a really <laughs> large distance. Are we ready? What sort of activity? What sort of? FTP percentage. Um, I would just go for the cadence, Jill. Okay. And do kind of as much as you can. Heart rate-wise, okay. you're probably at the top of zone 
Is your endurance zones two? Is what? Is your endurance zone zone two or zone three on Garmin? Oh god, two, I should think. I don't know what Garmin says. Oh, okay. Do you do you work to zones or not? Not really. I'm not, okay. not very much training as you at all, Kathy, but we'll stick with zone two. <laughs> well, no, you can go like it's probably the next one up. So you're not really at the top of threshold, but you're under threshold of your heart rate. That's great. And you want to kind of keep your cadence about 60 and use that as your guide for as much power as you can get out as possible. Um, and actually, it comes out at nearly your FTP power, but your heart rate shouldn't be at threshold when I think about it. Um, okay, three, two, one, go. Ooh, dog. Cat, dog, 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 cat. So that's quite slow. I'm thinking about my pedal stroke. Brilliant. That's a great thing to think about. <laughs> Aha, really <laughs> using your glutes well to get force <laughs> through that. My buttocks are getting strong. I am glad <laughs> your buttocks are getting strong. <laughs> <laughs> they are like, potentially the strongest muscle in the body. but we Biggest, aren't they? But you sit on it all the time, don't you? So it's... Uh... Yeah, and your quads tend to take over. Yeah. Where have you levelled out at, Jill? Power-wise, in comparison, have you got power on that? That's just about FTP, to be honest. Yeah, that's great. That's about right. What does FPT thing you mean then? Functional threshold oh. power is okay. the amount of power, which is what it stands for. Is okay. technically. The amount of power that you can hold for an hour before right. the lactate in your system gets so much that you have to stop. Okay. In reality, doing that is extremely painful. Yes. Oh. And, um, done very rarely. 10 mile, no, 25 mile time trials are about the nearest people really ever get. And you use it you two minutes through, so this is a good conversation. If you've got a power meter or you're in a, a spin studio with power meters, you can work out how hard to work for different types of fitness, for to train different physiological systems. And you can test your FTP by warming up and then riding really hard for 20 minutes and then multiplying it by, is it not like five? And that gives you your power that you should be able to hold for an hour. An indoor test for most, well, actually it depends. People test in different ways. So very few people test as well indoors in test conditions as they do when they're competing. Um, I agree. I but, can't do the test indoors at all. It's just my mind just goes numb. Yeah, so Jill can't test indoors. My indoor and outdoor tests tend to be the same, mm. and that's really unusual. Um, people usually have one or the other. And relax on that. Oh, the power off. So you can have a minute, and then we're going to do it again, at which point I'll... I'll um, restart the training, <laughs> the training letter <laughs> <laughs> or, 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 or psychology of the, the physiological state. My is to get to the top of the hill. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but there are various the... ways of training to get to the top of the hill, which will. I'm already in the queue for the ice cream. Yay! Yes, I mean, yeah. <laughs> Bowls of soup at the minute. It's not ice cream weather yet. Oh, it's ice cream weather. Ten seconds to go. <laughs> Three, two, one. Off you go. So we're slowing it right down again. As much. Do a dog cat thingy. I'll do you a, a 
a dog, <laughs> cat, <laughs> trying to think what else. I go. Oh, nice. Top. Tick. Top. Thank you. Top. Tick. Top. Tick. Top. Tick. Top. That's looking good. Well done. So that. Ah, and I can see people's bodies. You need a lot of stability around your core to do this well. Um, so, because otherwise your body moves all over the place and you want all the power just forcing itself through your glutes, Liz. Uh, <laughs> your buttocks. Your legs. <laughs> through your buttocks. Who is it that says that's um, off that it's film? It's on the film, isn't it? Yeah. Um, so... For me, the easiest way of thinking about different states for training is there are three. Mm -hmm. So the first one is when you're working up to a level where you can chat easily or you can yeah. nose breathe. And that's aerobic. And if you're fit and if you fuel yourself, you can ride at that kind of level for a long time. Mm -hmm. um, and riding at that level is as endurance athletes, which we all are, what will do you the most good? Yeah. If you ignore that bit, your system will not tolerate lots and lots of high-end training. It, it does lots of really good things. It builds your capillaries, your blood vessels and your muscles so you get more oxygen. It builds your little mitochondria, which are tiny little things in your muscles that produce energy, so you get more of those. It allows you to recover really quickly. If you thrash yourself, it takes you days to recover properly. And continuity is the, one of the best things for training. So if you train at the low level, you can then train again the next day. Um, it protects your immune system. You don't get as run down. It keeps your mojo quite high because you're not exhausted. It reduces your risk of injury. Um, it also keeps your pH levels um, um, not more leveled, more neutral. That's the word I wanted. So if you work too hard, you alter the pH levels, which means you're more likely to get muscle damage and then get injured. So that's the benefit of working at your chatty zone. And everyone mm. thinks you're not doing anything because it's too easy. It can't be doing you any good. It's doing you loads and loads and loads and loads and loads of good. And at least 80% of what you do should be at that level. And on that note, you're into your next minute of relaxing. Oh, relaxing. Yeah. It's pretty yeah. cool, eh? So we've done two. We've got one more to go. Oh, it's a long way to turn it down. But actually, I probably need to do a, th a fourth one so that I can get all the bits of training information in. <laughs> <laughs> You've only got our best interests at heart, haven't you? I have, you're right. <laughs> but if you're anything like me, it takes you years. Well, it's taken me years to get my head around it all. And I now kind of think that I kind of vaguely know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Okay. So it was a really quick minute. <laughs> Three, two, one. Off you go again. And I'll give you the... Up, down. Up, down. Up, down. Up, down. Up, down. Up, down. Got it? Brilliant. Okay. Oops. The next, the, the zone two bit, what I would call zone two, is when you come out of the chatty area and you work between that and the bit we've just talked about, the level you can hold for an hour. And that's mm. called your lactate threshold, or in fact, it's lactate threshold two, or your FTP. So those are the, there's loads and loads of names for it, but it all means the same thing. And in that area, you are producing more lactate than you can process because lactate is actually recycled back into the body. 
it doesn't create all the muscle soreness that it gets blamed for because <laughs> that is the pyruvate which is an off byproduct of, of the lactate and and when your body can metabolize it all you there's no issue but so that zone two up to the area that jill was talking about where you're kind of struggling to speak in more than separate words <laughs> um is working that system and that's really good for time trialing but it's you can work in it for a certain amount of time then you need to back off fuel recover and then you can go again and you can train that ability so there is point in riding that hard um but not for months and months and months your hard work really is in the three or four months before an event and most of the rest of it's really easy and the third zone is above that level that you can hold for an hour and the third zone you can hold for less than an hour and, and in racing you'd call it burning your matches there's only a limited number of times that you can do that and you you if you ask your system to do it too many times it will just go no thank you very much i can't <laughs> so you would try and sprint in a race and nothing would happen you try and go up hard knot hill after you've gone up six others and your body would just go you gotta be joking no but again that can be trained to some degree but it's really really hard work training that top end um and on that note You've done your third minute and I got my explanation in. So you can have your minutes relax. And, then and, and you say the, cut. you say the 80% chatty level. Have yeah. The, how much the, the other two? How long well, ago the other? 20, well, there's a really good argument that most of the rest of it should be really hard and only a little bit in the middle bit. Um, so if, so the last 20% should maybe be, depending who you read, 5% zone two and 15% the really hard bit. Um, but there's various conflicting ideas around that. Jill might want to add something into that. <laughs> no, I thought what's more I can add, can't really. Um, I don't do enough of it, that's all I know. I, in, a, in an ideal training plan, would you do all three in one session or would you do three separate sessions? I'd do three separate, three separate sessions. Right. Um, so what would what would like be an ideal training week for? Well, I'm training someone who's doing the Fred at the moment. What's the Fred? Uh, the Fred Witten ride. So it's 112 miles and it's around all the really big hills right. in the district. Okay. So like sometimes it's a bit mixed so what he's doing he's doing a session one session which is real top end so okay. really hard and that's yeah. to help him with the really really steep bits of some of the hills because there's some really horrific ramps mm. he's doing a bit of strength work and a bit of pilates to make sure he's structurally strong enough yeah and actually hold himself on his bike for that length of time so he's core yeah. is strong and then he's doing one session with some of the threshold, so the middle, where yeah. you chat a little bit, but not really. Um, so that's kind of two hours. And then he's probably doing about another eight or nine hours of just really easy riding. Right, I get you. Um, and only yeah. one of those will have some hills in, so he'll work a bit harder on that. But it's very... Um, very prescribed so he's not going out with his mates and riding hard when he feels like it it's like you're going to go out and you're going to ride at this heart rate for four minutes four times just kind of like we're doing here um, and it is more or less that balance and i've just yeah. turned on and when we've looked at it and we've talked about it and we've he's kind of we've said actually you've been doing too much hard work in the winter and not enough easy stuff um and, and that's what's going to unstick him because it's only about two months away three months right. away. yeah you really see no, so go on. 
I've worked with him before, Jill, which is why I took him on at such short notice for it, because it was like, I know what I'm getting and I know how he works and he knows how I work. So it's not like onboarding somebody. I'd say when I start to coach someone, it often takes three months for to really get everything bedded in and, and for them to know how I work and I to know how they function. Yeah. But um, naturally, you'd think the harder you work, the better you'd be, wouldn't you? And yet that it is not the case. No, that's right. That's yeah. what you're saying. You can arrive at your race just broken then because you've actually worked too hard. Then. Uh, yeah. You need to rest as well, don't you? You need your rest days in there as well, you, don't you? You do need your rest and rest can come in, in different forms. For yeah. Um, yeah, it's good to have a rest day or, as a general rule, a rest day a week. And it's good to have every fourth week as an easier week. But... I think the more you do and the more specific you get, the less that's true. Yeah. Uh, I, I hardly ever have a day when I don't do anything. And when I do, it, it feels really funny. So I, it's better <laughs> for my body now to do easy stuff mm -hmm. rather than have yeah. a good rest because it doesn't think much of it. But, I love that. Yeah. Um, so, and also I would say that ratio of easy and hard depends on what your event is. Because if you're if you're a, a cycling road racer or, or something like that, you need more hard top end stuff because you have to sprint a lot and you have to make breaks and you have to work really hard. Whereas if you're doing Ironman, <laughs> then a lot of that is about, you know, you'd be in 90 or 95 percent easy, especially if you're just on, on a get round as opposed to a podium. Because you just need phenomenal endurance for that. Um, and if you're doing a sprint triathlon, again, you'd have more faster work. But really, for me, only in the last three months. And it would depend on your age and your injury risk and other factors like that. Um, so it's quite, it's quite individual, but there are some guiding principles. I suppose we better ride our bikes now. Right. <laughs> you know that really hard bit that we were talking about. <laughs> yeah. What I thought we would do, or what I thought you could do, <laughs> was 15 seconds of really, really hard, 30 seconds recovery, 15 mm -hmm. seconds. And we're going to do six of those. Six. Mm -hmm. They're only 15 seconds, so they're quite short. So mm -hmm. your systems, you're just firing the probably the very top of, mm -hmm. of like your aerobic system, hopefully. So, um, so you'll need to, as soon as I say go, you'll need to really immediately get on top of your power. You'll need to be ready to put a massive amount of power out. So your resistance and the power that you put out should go up at the same time. If you put your resistance up beforehand, you won't get on top of it with your cadence. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. And your cadence needs to be really fast. Mm -hmm. uh, are we happy? We're, we're yeah. deliriously happy, aren't we? Okay, yeah. three, two, one, go. Thanks. Off you go, fast as you can. Lots of power, lots of drive, brilliant, really fast cadence. Three, two, one. one. Relax, 45 seconds. Had it on high, is that right? Sorry? Had it on hard. It needs wow. to be not, it needs to be hard, but it needs to be low oh. enough that you can turn your legs around really quickly, Linda. All right, probably I had it too hard. Yeah. Okay, you have 20 seconds. Oh, I'll do that. 10. 3, 2, 1, and kill it for 15 seconds. Go, 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 go. Fantastic. 
Well done, Linda. Well done, Liz. Three, two, one. And relax. Whoa, nice one, Esther. <laughs> Thank you. Two. Lovely. Right. By 45 seconds, do you think you can nearly speak again? Yeah. <laughs> okay. It's enough then. Fifteen seconds. Esther, try it with just a tiny bit more power. More sorry, okay. a tiny bit more resistance. Well, I know. I think I need a new turbo uh, trainer. This is the oh. maximum I can put. Okay, that's fine. Go for it. Three, yeah, yeah. two, one, go. Lovely. Three, two, one, mm. stop. Yeah, Excellent. when I when I found out about this class, I rushed to buy you a very cheap turbo trainer. Well, but I then, think that was I think that was a good move. Yeah. It works. Yeah. It holds your bike, you're really comfy on it, you can do more than enough, it's fine. And it's yeah, much easier but... to operate than some of the others. Yeah. Ten seconds. Nice. Five seconds. Three, two, one, go. Fifteen seconds. Fifteen seconds. Three, two. One, oh. relax. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Fantastic. Halfway there. <laughs> I'm drink. Got 25 seconds to do it in, Linda. <laughs> Just going to put a tea on. <laughs> I'm not getting a drink out of my, my bottle of tea. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Cheeky. Ten seconds. Three, two, one, go. Fifteen seconds. Flat out. Absolutely flat out. Fantastic. <laughs> Three, two, one, relax. <laughs> Lovely, you've got two more. That's all. <laughs> Jill's going, really? <laughs> <laughs> well, picking up at 250% deck. Yay! <laughs> not for long. <laughs> no, that's the thing, it's not for long. So you've got a really good top end. I don't think I can get anywhere near that. And this is after 15 miles on the fells. Yeah. I've got 120 to get Kay to do on Saturday. And I've hardly been on the bike this year, so... Whoa. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Off you go. Three, two, one. one. Relax. Oh. Jobs are good on one left. You've still got 15 minutes of class though, so <laughs> don't get too cheap. <laughs> Ten seconds. Three, two, one. Go for it. Go for it, go for it, go for it. Five. Three, two, 
Three, two, one. Relax. So we turn the power off now. Well done. Nice, easy oh. resistance. Spin the legs round. Give them a chance to recover. Lovely. We haven't done that much. You've got me to talk too much. Wait. <laughs> I will join. <laughs> I'll join you in a minute. <laughs> Okay. And for the last little set, I feel almost mean saying this, but not so mean I'm not going to say it. So, <laughs> and you can all control your own resistance, so you can make some choices. So, I would say we're going for two minutes medium hard so that's about an eight so you'd be struggling to have a conversation with me so fdp level jill yep mm. um and then 30 seconds harder than that mm. so it won't be as hard as the 15 well it shouldn't be as hard as the 15 you've just done because you shouldn't be able to sustain that 15 for longer um and a bit of a rest in between so and cadence at 90, which is like the faster TikTok, I'll give you it. Um, are we ready? Yeah. Three, two, one, go. Two minutes at effort level about eight. And I'll just get the cadence for you. Tick, top, tick, top, tick. Top, tick, top. Brilliant, Linda. That's a great cadence. Well done. Tick, top, tick, top, tick, top, tick, top. Perfect. <laughs> Lovely. You're doing well. great. And half a minute gone. Excellent. <laughs> halfway through about a minute that's nice Linda if you're struggling to keep it just put your resistance down a tiny bit but you're looking great excellent you can see your shoulders Liz that looks like a nice cake <laughs> wobbling from side to side <laughs> tick tock tick Yep. <laughs> ah, I will post. There's a really good um, pod, not podcast, TED talk on training slower to go faster, and I'll put it on the group. What is it on the WhatsApp? I'm not on that. I need to get back on it. Do you yeah. know how to join me? Fifteen seconds. Before you go hard for 30. Three, two, one. So really hard. Don't make your cadence any lower. You should be almost faster than anything. That's good. Well done, Linda. Nice, Jill. Yay. We're going. 15 seconds left. Excellent. Three, two, one. one. Right, you've got 30 seconds, relax. Oh. 30. <laughs> one minute, Jill. <laughs> 30 seconds just makes my maths easier. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> okay. Upon interlude from the <laughs> from the audience, we'll go for a minute. Uh, Cass, do you know how to get me on the WhatsApp group? No idea, but I'm sure I can ask. Thank you. I think an admin has to add you. All right. 
So if you email, yeah, vision, vision the adventure, office. yeah. Why not just put it on the group? He's going to admin ad Linda. I think because you have to have the phone number. So I think that's yeah. But I wrote to them. I wrote to to him well, as soon as I joined, and then they forgot about. It. I am not in the group either. I leave it again. Okay. Are we ready? Yeah. Three, two, one, go. So this is medium hard for two minutes. Lovely. Good job. Halfway through. And just another 30 seconds. <laughs> okay, 15 seconds before you go hard. Remember the cadence, make it easier if you need to. Okay, ready to go hard, ready to go quite a high cadence. Three, two, one. Go. Lovely. Brilliant, the commitment you give to these sessions. It's got this little screen full of people working really hard. Well done, five seconds. Three, two, one, relax. A minute to relax, and then we do that once more, and then that's it. Oh, God. Good luck. <laughs> oh, I've got to stand up. Oh, I just won't move now. Oh, that's it. Hey, lovely. 15 seconds of lovely rest. Okay, three, two, one. Medium hard for two minutes. And it's Steve Young's 60th on Monday. <laughs> I was going to give you a time check, but I remember Jill only wants to hear when she's more than halfway. <laughs> okay, just going through your first minute. So you're just over halfway. One more minute to go. Hmm. 
Oh, just half a minute. Fifteen seconds. <laughs> Three, two, one, 30 seconds fast. The last fast. 30 seconds of the night. Fast as you can. Well done, keep it going. 10 left, you're nearly there. Three, two, one, oh. relax. Oh. Oh, well great. done. Oh. Well done, everyone. You're on cool down. <laughs> Thank you. Congratulations. <laughs>